that happened. Alright, next. We... Oh, I don't care. Alright, next would be... Tallow. Tallow, yes. Come on, horse. Meet me at least. I got another question mark thingy. All right, let's see what this question mark is about. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. We'll go to it later. Ah, right, you know what? Screw it, we'll do it now. Why not? Mahoas, hello, how have you been, sir? Come on. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hello there. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm yeah. sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, the great chief, and his son, Eagle Flags. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the ah. party, you were upstairs. That was them that were looking over the ridge. of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. Why don't you join we us? We have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government mm. claiming huge reserves of oil <coughs> under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <coughs> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Now you're talking my much. I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You See meet him. my son in a couple of days near <coughs> Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Alright, so let's see what, uh, 
Let's see about the next mission, I guess. Look out! My God, sir, sir, ah, you son of a bitch. No, oh, my God, I'm going to die. All right, come on, just shoot me. What? Yeah! I will tackle you to the ground! I will beat that ass! Indeed I did. Come in! Come, come in! Before they take me. Pistol whip. Bitch. Come on. Come on. You want some? Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Bitch! Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you! Pistol whip! Ah, you got me. But I beat the shit out of some of you cops. <laughs> ah, goddamn it, I died. Tried to give up. I didn't even see the people there. God damn. All right. Ah. Come on. Come along. Let's go. Yes, yes. Come on. Jesus. What the f- I honestly thought that gate opened. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I guess it doesn't. All right, let's try this again. Because apparently. Run fucking people over. Move. Sir. Hello, mister. Hello. Okay. So where you at? You know, I have always wanted to try a cigarette from like Oh, you know, there you are, my dear so. boy. Yes, here Just I to am. See. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, okay. you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Ah, fine. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my Buy the friend fine here is in need of a new suit. Okay. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Peace, read it. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. <coughs> the heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to buy. Chop, chop. 
Let's get you out of that cattle where it's not letting me buy it. Decent. I want. Oh, hold on. Come on, dear boy, don't be shy. It's not letting me. Will you try to act like a member of the human race? You better shut your motherfucking face. It's not letting me buy it. <clears throat> oh. We are in something of a hurry here, Arthur. Oh, that's a very how. good choice, sir. Okay. <clears throat> Just press X to view. All right. Can I get a hat? Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sir. Sure. No. Tonight, gentlemen. No, no, no. No. No, Mr. no, no. Has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite I, ingenious, actually. I am what not is. get a haircut. The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you Fuck, in your man. line of sight. When you bust <clears throat> the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe? <laughs> sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Come don't, on. Don't be so jaded. Don't. I don't want to cut both my hair. Know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. <sighs> well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't I'm gonna seem have to such find the fucking innocent the hair. No. Tonic. But we, you, all of us. Listen, I could just. We'll be done here I could soon. just grease my hair. I hope so. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, don't let, don't make me do this. That's not fair. The game lets me grow my hair out. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Oh my god. Hair. This unlikely Style. fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Hmm. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Okay, so wait. What am I supposed to get? Hold on. Is this fine? Is this good? Is this good? Well, don't keep the poor man waiting. Oh, okay. Uh, fine. Style your hair and beard. Okay, so, boom. Style. Pompeii. Thank you. Quiet. Make him look like a prince, sir. Sweat back. Buzz. Bald. Oh my god. What? Okay. Facial hair. Uh. Uh. Full style. No. What the fuck? I don't want none of this, sir. Sir, please. The presidential. <laughs> uh, sir. Uh, cyber and style? What the hell is that? God, I don't want to cut my hair. <clears throat> Fine. Full style. This is fucking stupid. Okay, am I done? Am I done here? Am I done? There, very smart. Fucking guy. Come on, let's get to the rocks. I. I've arranged some transportation. Hate you. 
right now. I, you have a successful evening, gentlemen. I can't believe you made me do this. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, uh, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. I fucking hate you. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach. We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Say it with your chest. Right, okay. Say it halfway. So, who's the mark? Are you alright, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What okay. could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. I, I still can't believe you made me and do this to my What money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waived. There she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. We are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. You good luck, sir. Oh, my God. Now, remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. I want to punch yes. you in the face. Yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. I want to punch you in the there they face. Are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier <coughs> than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. I. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Fucking Javier didn't really do anything. Well, he just put his come hair on, up. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I fucking hate you guys. My beard looks like shit. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over <coughs> their guns. I don't have any. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun. Tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Do you oh, see my beard? Time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. All right. Now where can I get a cocktail? Are you joining us? Uh, yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Kelly. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. <coughs> okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Oh, Nothing I am. less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the Ooh. fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but you yes, go. you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, you don't seem to, uh... Okay, sorry, boys. I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. Mm. To hell with it.
All right, fuck it. You know what? Call. Here we go, then. Oh. Hello, my ladies. Damn it. All right. Ooh. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see so. if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? Stry oh, the I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting Strauss. A degree, but I just look better in a suit. To keep that. All right. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound Shouse. just like my wife. I'll, uh, praise. Call. Strauss. Okay. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Strauss. Strauss? All right. Hmm. Your action, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strauss, you ain't telling me shit, man. Interesting. A pair of cowgirls. Okay. Did I win? Shit. Yes. Uh -huh. Shit. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Whoa. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. I doubt it, but all right. Okay. <clears throat> I trust you. Now play as you wish. Okay. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation right. heads up in New Hanover. Okay. Let's see what we got? Oh, we got two kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, Strauss. sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Let's go all in. All right, go all in. Here you go. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. Yes, you little beauty. Oh, ha ha. Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn, damn you. it. <laughs> no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, <clears throat> where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Can we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, right. please cash yeah. these out for me. I started last week. Good. Sure. <laughs> okay. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Yeah. You first. Look, you first. You're having quite the night. Yeah, Indeed. so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Person. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very oh. good. Fucking racist, yo. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. 
Very accurate of the time. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. All right, we gonna take him out. Like what are we doing? Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. Disarm. Disarm you with a smile. Guess you were right. Cut Only you like give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, we can't loot him? Alright. Alright. Safe. Take everything. Idiot, huh? Oh, right in the cheek! Oh! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Sure, sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. Yep. If we're lucky. Ah. Uh. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Y'all don't see us up here? No? And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Mm. Don't garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon <laughs> off the side. Nice <laughs> uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away till we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Yeah. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor. <laughs> to the bar, senor. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life, you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look, there's your friend. and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Hello. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I want to change back. I want my beard back. I don't want to look like this. I'm 
might have to go back to the barber and go natural. Headshots after your cover is blown, escape the boat. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. Uh, there's a bounty. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright, let's go to the barber. Come on. Morning to you. Morning. Damn, I got a lot of money. Let's get to work. Facial hair. So what'll it be today? Uh, full service. No. Uh. Oh God. Uh. No. None of that. What's the trim? Oh hell no. I'll fucking kill you. Uh, mustache style. Yeah. No. No. Natural. Okay. Chin style, natural. Mm, I yes. say you look ready for a portrait now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I make that bigger? No. <laughs> nah, natural, natural. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mustache. Uh, okay. And then hair. I just want, I just want that, uh, <coughs> left, fade, nope, oh god, do. right parted, no, swept back, that's pretty cool, nope, that's it, that's it, just wanted everything back to normal. Alright, good day, sir. Well, I guess we're all down here. Thanks. Yeah, we are. How do you do? Hello, sir. Hello, Hello gentlemen. Look at this old fossil playing at cowboy. Hey. Your mama know you're off the farm? Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's make tracks. Open your eyes, fool. Oh, oh God, don't shoot me. Huh? 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 Wait up, pal. I ain't serious. Lord, save me. Yeah, that's right, bitches. Y'all better run. Okay, now the next thing we have to do. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We really do need to pay this bounty. Okay, come on. Let's go pay this off. You done good. Mister, I'll hey. attend to you shortly. 
Liberty is worth every penny. All right, here, here you go. There Hello. You go. How can I help? All right, well, that's it. That's Thank all I need. Thank you for your help. This is where I'm going to leave the episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, subscribe for more. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.